Hello everyone, Jack from Peach Guitars here. Today I want to just give a little bit of an introduction and a bit of praise, which I think is overdue, to Duesenberg Guitars. But before I get into this video, let me please remind you to like it, comment down below with your thoughts, and make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Okay, as I say today, I just want to delve into uh, in a little bit of detail, but not going in, in too heavy on the specs or anything like that. Just want to really introduce you in case you haven't seen Duesenberg Guitars. This is a company that we've had quite a long relationship with. I, I realize that now is a really good time to make a video on them because we've just received quite a few new models from them that have really fleshed out the stock that we've got in store. And it actually includes a couple of models which we haven't seen before. So what you'll see in this lineup here of these five guitars are five totally independent models from Duesenberg Guitars, which, as I say, is a bit of a, a new thing for us. We've had most of our success with the Star Player TV model, which is what I'm holding right now, and it's probably the most iconic guitar for Duesenberg. For those who don't know, Duesenberg are a German guitar manufacturer. They assemble all their guitars in Germany. So, as you can kind of tell from that alone, the craftsmanship and the efficiency of production is very, very high uh, to adhere to that national stereotype. It is true, in the case of these guitars, what you find is there's a huge level of consistency from one to the next. And whenever I've played one of these guitars for a listing video or included them in any kind of feature that we do, I know exactly what I'm getting when I pick up a Duesenberg guitar. And to me, that's quite a good trait to have. I think that consistency factor is something that a lot of guitar players look for. And if you're looking for something that's a little bit different from your regular Gibson or Fender style instrument, Duesenberg have their own identity that they've really manifested in several different models now. So I just wanted to make a video to show you the different options that you have available to you. So as I mentioned, the Star Player TV that I'm holding here has long been the most popular model and it's kind of springboarded into a few signature models as well. Players like Mike Campbell, had a signature model based off of the Starplay TV. So a lot of these big name guitar players have started to uh, be kind of attracted to this company for certain reasons. All of these guitars that are equipped with a humbucker and a P90 pickup in the neck, for example, they have an out of phase middle position, which is a really unique sound. The first time I played this sound, I realized that it's just absolutely beautiful for clean tones. Feel wise, these are a little bit different, as I say, to a regular Gibson or Fender style instrument. They've really got their own thing going on. It's a little bit of a flatter neck profile. Um, it's also an interesting combination of woods. You've got a maple body with a spruce top, coupled with a maple neck and rosewood fingerboards. So very different combination there to uh, their competitors, if you like. And what that really does is gives you an instrument that's very lively, it's very bright and articulate, but it's also got enough solidity to it to play with some level of gain. So it's a really very capable instrument. As I say, to some people, if you're used to a certain kind of instrument, this may just feel different, but I think that's actually very much to its merit. You might find that playing a Duesenberg for the first time gives you that kind of character and unique nature that you've long been searching for. And I think there's very much a reason that players like Joe Walsh, John Mayer, uh, Mike Campbell have moved on to Duesenberg guitars, probably for that very reason, to get something legitimately different from what they're used to.
Okay, so let me just give you a quick walkthrough of the other models that I talked about. Um, I mentioned the Star Player TV, which as I said is definitely the most popular and recognisable Duesenberg guitar. One of the newest models that I talked about just coming into us is this, which is the Star Player 3, which is kind of a natural evolution of that Star Player TV model. Really the major difference with it is that this guitar has a flat top as opposed to the bevel top of the TV model. So if that's more your thing, I actually think that the finishes pop a little bit more on the flat top. So this Cardinal Red guitar, sorry, Catalina Red guitar, for example, um, really does just pop out a little bit more, I think, with the flat top. It's a matter of taste, but it's nice to know that the option is there if this is what you prefer. Also, there's a comfort level difference as well. The way your arm sits on the guitar is different on the flat top as opposed to the TV. So there's a couple of considerations there between the style player models. <laughs> Okay, so you might see that this guitar differs the most from the rest of the lineup here in terms of its pickup configuration. This Paloma model from Duesenberg has much the same feel in terms of the neck profile and everything else that's going on in the guitar, the same tremolo piece as well, but you've actually got an HSS pickup configuration on this guitar, so it kind of leans more a little bit towards the Fender camp, but I'd hasten to add it into any kind of comparison with a Fender style guitar because it's just so unique. The tones that you can get out of this are different to pretty much any other HSS loaded guitar that I've ever, ever played and I think any other guitar that's available on the market. So if you're looking for an HSS with a difference, the Paloma is definitely the way to go and it certainly stands out the most from the rest of this Duesenberg lineup. <laughs> So again, just a slightly different take on the Duesenberg design with the same pickup layout as the Star Player model, but this Caribou model actually has a totally different wood configuration as opposed to the maple and spruce that I talked about 
with the style player, this guitar has an older wood body coupled with the same maple neck and rosewood boards. So again, just something different. Tonally as well, this sits in a slightly different place. Being a smaller body, I actually really like the proportions of this guitar. And of the bunch that are here, this is probably my personal favorite because of its kind of compact, easily wielded nature. Just depends what you like, but I really like this model. And it, again, it differs tonally from the style player slightly. Okay, and lastly, this is a guitar that I'm sure any John Mayer fans out there will have noted him playing in recent years. Uh, again, just for a very legitimately different tone to his usual kind of a sound, and that's courtesy of this double cap model. Arguably one of the coolest body shapes. It's kind of got a little bit of a Rickenbacker thing to it, but again, what Duesenberg do is they just take these outside influences and melt them into something totally new and unique. So again, just a slightly different take on the formula. Same pickup arrangement as the style player and the caribou, same body wood, the older body as the caribou as well, just a different body wood uh, kind of dimension and uh, platform flavor if you like, so just something different once again. <laughs> So I hope that you found something out about Duesenberg that maybe you weren't aware of before and uh, just say that if you want to find out any more information about them, check out the full stock that we've got at peachguitars.com and if you feel so inclined to pick up something new and unique, grab one for yourself from the website. So thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching it, if you have please like and comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel and as always, take care and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>